Hundreds of people we rely on each day are also testing positive for coronavirus. Sick calls from first responders and utility workers are forcing Orange County to make adjustments, and parents of students are now also being advised to have backup plans in place. West News' Anika Hope joins us live from Lake Sebelia Elementary School in Orange County. Anika, the superintendent had a warning for families today. The Orange County superintendent says it's not just teachers taking sick time, it's bus drivers too. Just today, nearly a hundred of them were out. She promises the drivers who can work will eventually get your child to school, but that could take some time. Her advice, have other options. Orange County needs help. Yours. That's what Mayor Jerry Deming said Tuesday. There may be an urge to just want to continue your normal or regular activities if you test positive, don't do it. At the same time, all of those sick calls from employees have not made it easy for the county. Uh, we are not exempt from the rapid spread of uh, the Omicron variant, and we're doing everything that we can to not shut our workforce down. Mayor Demings counted out the impact. Over 250 county employees are isolated right now after testing positive. 49 people with county utilities, 53 with fire and rescue, 59 people work at the jail. So Orange County employees will be wearing uh, masks for the foreseeable future. So will Orange County teachers. After Superintendent Barbara Jenkins reinstated a mask mandate on campuses for adults. We believe this will help, as the mayor mentioned, help preserve our workforce and keep our schools open. Jenkins said it's normal for about 250 staff members to call out sick after the holidays. By Monday night, though, Jenkins said over 700 called it in. Mayor Demings reminded anyone listening, the numbers are people. People with employers and neighbors and families. People we all know. I've had to live through, within the last few weeks, the death of a family member, the hospitalization of my 99-year-old father, family members who have contracted COVID. That personal situation the mayor shared, it's something so many people here in Central Florida can relate to tonight. The mayor made it clear he shared those numbers so that people take action. Live in Maitland, Anika Hope, West 2 News.